G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy and we're going to minister to 10 people. Uh, if you would like to receive ministry on a similar format in the future, you can write your name in the comments and I will schedule you for a future video that we can also minister to you. All right, so um, I want to jump in and minister and the first person I want to minister to is Zantai Nell. Okay, so Zantai, what the Lord is showing to me is how there is a call upon your life to do ministry work and even worship also and pastoral work to flow out of your life. But I felt that the Lord is giving you today action steps to prepare yourself for the future. And I saw you uh, praying and reading your Bible, spending time with God, doing intercession, getting opportunities to minister with others. And how the Lord is just opening up in you the faith and also that flow of the Holy Spirit so that you can be prepared for the next season that's coming. And so right now you might be ministering uh, in a environment where there's not always a strong flow. But I felt that the Lord says, I'm preparing you for the revival. And when the revival comes, then you're going to have to be ready so that you can also minister with all the other people that the Lord is raising up. God bless you, Zante. Amen. God bless you, Zante. This next word is for um, Jeanette. Jeanette, the um, picture God showed me for you was how uh, you're like a fisherman and you're in the middle of the ocean and there's a lot of other boats and fishermen around you. And now all these other guys around you that are fishing are, have the, the, the most horrible attitudes about catching fish. But I feel how God places like a hope and a joy in your heart and, and so much light that when you go fishing, you just say, thank you, God, for this fish. Lord, I'm so excited and I just feel there's just such a positive thing that God is doing in your life and I just see how the Lord says because of your heart I will bless you with more fish so I really want to encourage you even though the people around you will be very negative and be very down and a lot of people are tired because of the end, it's the end of the year I just feel the Lord says don't let that steal your joy you are called to be set apart you are called to be to speak words of life I will provide the fish I will provide for you and it's even while praying it's even like they have um, like clouds over them and they cry and, um, and, and not, they're not crying but it's like raining on them but um, because you're set apart it's like there's sunshine on you so I just feel the Lord says um, keep your heart for me and I will take away the clouds I will bless you for sure I just really feel that's the battle and God is going to give you that peace and joy just step into it God loves you God bless you okay. so uh, Jeanette uh, I see you uh, we're in an old place you transitioning to a new place but there's a lot of back and forth and I felt that the Lord says yes there is going to continue a little bit of back and forth but then he's going to establish you in a new place and so then you're not going to go back uh, to the old one again and I saw a gate uh, open between the old place and a new place and then uh, the gate stays open so you can go back and forth but at some point the gate closes again mm -hmm. okay. God bless you Jeanette uh, God's blessing is upon you and I want to encourage you to keep your joy uh, don't allow the enemy to steal your joy he has given you a crown of joy God bless you All right, so the next word is for Christine Christine the Lord showed me uh, the, the bread and the wine uh, like the communion and the Lord said to me that this is a season of covenant between you and God. And when you write down the things that you want from God and you write down the things that God wants from you. And he said to the Lord, yes, Lord, you establish the covenant. And I felt that the Lord says, once you establish the covenant, supernatural provision and connection will be opened to you. And so uh, the, the first step is not to get the provision or to make those connections. The first step is to make the covenant. And I felt that the Lord says, just go through that sp this process. And, you know, we have a covenant as a, a global body of Christ with God. But each of us individually also have a a personal covenant with God and it's sometimes important for us to to write it down and make a covenant and I just felt that the Lord is encouraging you to do that God bless you Christine Amen this next word is for Corinne Corinne God loves you so so much and there is an anointing of faithfulness I just feel Lord says I'm so proud of you for your faithful heart I see how you enter into a room and you just show up for God and say I here I am use me and I just see how God places this canvas and 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 this this um this empty there's this 
clear painting for you that you need to paint now um, and, and I see how you don't know what you're doing but you say God I'm gonna do it because you told me to do it then the more you go God blesses you with the gifts the skills and I, I just feel the Lord says because of your obedience those gifts those skills um, the talents every those resources that you need will come I just feel the Lord says um, keep your head up keep on being faithful because God is really going to bless you through that I just feel he's so proud of you and then lastly I just feel there's just a, a covering of his love and the blood of Jesus upon you Corin God is protecting you God loves you God bless you hey uh, Corin uh, God bless you uh, and your whole family I say thank you so the next word is for Vili uh, so Vili the Lord said to me that you are a man uh, of honor and a man of humility and because you walk humbly f before the Lord the Lord is going to give you grace he's going to give you provision and I saw how doors were opening up for your family and also for your ministry yes. and also for your business uh, and, and and not only for you as an individual but you were standing in a gap for your whole family and also for your business and how the Lord just supernaturally cover them provide for them and also open up um, doors God bless you. Amen. This next one is for Joanna. Joanna, I'll pray for you. I just saw a picture of a sunflower and how, you know, sunflowers, they, they grow so they can see the light. And that's what God is calling you to do. And I feel that there's been things that are, has been growing around you that's been darkening. And I just see how God's, that means you gotta, you got to grow more and then you can reach the light more. And I just see how God is, is giving like more fertilizer. God is helping you. He's strengthening you. Um, I even see, see while praying for you, it's like God puts like these these um these like stands around you so that the sunflower can grow and then soon the, the, the stem will be strong enough. I just feel the Lord says keep on looking at the light and you know also the thing about sunflowers they produce oil as well and I just feel the Lord says um, what your works will do will, will you will pour out oil and I think I feel that you're going to be a blessing and just you're going to anoint a lot of people um, yeah especially your kids um, Joanna God loves you so much and I, I really want to encourage you um, keep on keep on growing with God because God's God's light is shining upon you and yeah God has a plan so I really want to encourage you, just stay focused on him. God bless you. Hey, hey Joanna, uh, God bless you. Uh, so, or Joanna, I suppose. Uh, so the next word is for Hela. Okay, uh, so Hela, um, the Lord said to me, you are in a phase where the Lord is making things in your life permanent and secure. And I, and I saw the Lord putting a ring on your finger. And now the Lord says, just like um, a woman when she gets married, then that relationship becomes permanent. I felt that the Lord says there's a lot of things in your life that the Lord is now making permanent and secure. And then the Lord gave me a word of opportunity that's going to come to you to travel. And I got the word transcontinental travel. Right? So I think there's going to be opportunity for you just to see and experience new things. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Lydia. Lydia, God loves you so much. And I just see how God is wrapping you around in this glory and wrapping you in white, in this beautiful white dress. Um, Lydia, I, I really want to encourage you. God is um, giving you all these pearls. And I just see how God is really showing you who are the people that you're going to mentor. And so I just see God has called you to, um, I don't know if it's your daughter, but I just see like a young girl or quite a few young girls that you're going to reach out to and really be a mentor and like a mom to them in their lives and then I saw a picture of how you started um, this uh, something as simple as like the smoothie business and or, or, or a little coffee business and then how you start growing that and how people start coming and then all of a sudden it grows into something um, big so I just feel the Lord is opening up a door um, for business God is going to send a team I just feel the Lord says um, um, faith is small as a mustard seed can move mountains and sometimes things are going to start like a mustard seed but I just feel the Lord says my favor is upon you and whatever you do and if, you're be and, and if you stay obedient I will grow that massively so I, I really want to encourage you keep on being obedient don't don't look at the little things and think it's just that I just feel God is really filling up your heart with excitement and so much vision God loves you so much God bless you all right uh, thank you very much Lydia God bless you so the next one is for Tacona all right uh, so Tacona uh, I was praying for you uh, and the Lord was showing to me how you struggled to hear 
It's like there was earphones of God's voice on you, but you just couldn't hear and then the Lord raised the volume. And I felt that the Lord says, He's going to speak to you, He's going to speak through the word, through circumstances, through other people, through family members, uh, even through people in ministry, um, events that happen around your life. It's almost as if the Lord is going to affirm His word over and over and over into your life so that you can be 100% sure. And so the Lord says you don't have to feel like you're walking in a dark. I, I know in the Bible there's an example of Gideon that he put out the, the, the fleece. And he wanted to ask the Lord, but should I do it? Should I do that? And the Lord gave him a very clear answer. And I felt that the Lord says, the Lord will give you a clear answer. Then the second thing, uh, I, I saw you were trusting in God and you were waiting on God's timing. What I felt that the Lord is saying, no, this is not a time to wait. This is a time to walk and to take steps of action. And as you take the one step of action, he's going to speak to you and give you the next step of action and the next step of action and I saw like a long list of steps like almost like a ladder uh, or a pathway that you that you climb uh, how the Lord gives you steps of action and you take each one of those steps of action and the purpose that he has for you unfold and you know sometimes we can say okay I'm going to pray and I'm going to wait but I felt that the Lord says this is not the time to pray and to wait this is the time to be obedient and to take action God bless you, Takana. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Dawn. Dawn, while well, praying for you, I just felt how the Lord says, I'm going to give Dawn a fire sword. And I saw how God gave you the sword and it was on fire. And I just feel the Lord, and I know the sword represents the word, and I just feel how God is really equipping you. And that fire represents, I know it represents the Holy Spirit. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you the resources. I'm backing you up. I'm equipping you for such a time as this. And then I saw a picture of how God was anointing your head. And it was the most beautiful beautifulest um, fragrances of oil and, and and I just feel the Lord says that you are a beautiful fragrance of worship for me I want you wherever you go um, worship me because that's going to really bring breakthrough for not only for you for a lot of people and I just see how you shine your light and you show that fragrance of God and I just see how wherever you go the breakthrough the love the glory of God is with you I really feel God has placed you in this place for a reason and I just feel the Lord says let your light shine and I and I will um, reveal myself in miraculous ways. Dawn, God loves you so much. And I, I really feel that the Lord's hand is upon you. And God is going to be with you um, for these, for, forever. God loves you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awesome, Dawn. Uh, God loves you very, very much. And uh, the Lord is with each one of you forever. Yes. Uh, so we got our live streams uh, every Friday evening. Uh, off past seven South African time. And then six o'clock uh, on Mondays. So uh, you can join us for that or if you would like to receive ministry uh, in this format you can just write your name in the comments and we'd love yeah. to minister to you. Uh, I also want to encourage you to go and check out Amy's um, music uh, yes. YouTube channel. It's, it's called really cool. Amy Storm and uh, it's awesome worship. You want to say something about it Amy? Yeah, when, when you when you first search it, it's not Amy Storm and Company. It's just, if you scroll down, it's it's Amy Storm and you found the singing videos. But yeah, I'm trying to, I love, I love worship. That's, it's what I do. And, and yeah, that's what I'm the channel I'm yeah, trying so, to grow. Yeah. yeah. So Amy is busy uh, writing songs that she's going to record yes. into her album. Uh, and she's done a few recordings already so far and it sounds wonderful. Uh, she also does a lot of discovers of other worship uh, to put stuff out uh, uh, on YouTube so she's doing a brilliant job so please go and check it out and please write uh, also a comment uh, she helps me so <laughs> I really appreciate the help and so it'd be nice if you can help her and then you know we have a circular and help you again <laughs> right, awesome guys we we look forward to see you maybe at the live stream I also have another channel is unity with heaven and there's a teaching channel there is some teaching videos on there uh, I must say uh, other than Christine, maybe Lydia, I haven't really seen any of you comment on my teaching videos. So I would really like it if you go and check out the videos. I think it's really good teachings and then you can uh, learn something and you can bless me by commenting and just um, uh, connecting with me. I love and appreciate each one of you. God bless you. Bye. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. 
If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.